Look at that. Just swimming it. First redfish of the day coming right at me. Boy, he's got some muscle. I thought he was gonna be a little rat. Stake ourselves out. Dang, dude. Boy, he's trying to go around the world. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be a rat. Def definitely a keeper. Yeah, that's a slot. It's a nice big boy. Oh yes, that's a beautiful redfish. <laughs> he sees the kayak. There we are. Oh, gorgeous redfish. Doing the blind cast. Oh man, such a great start. And we repeat, like it's the same lure that I caught my first fish on yesterday. Got that nice bugs. That's the flats bug right there. Beautiful mid slot redfish. Let's get a photo and then we'll release them. Well, that wasn't graceful, but I didn't want him to fall down into the kayak. Try and run that back up again. What just happened to us? Oh, look at this. Come on, man. Whew, gosh. It's like some behind me, too. This is a really great area. Oh no! I knew what I saw and I put it right there in front of his face. Did not go after it. Okay, I'm not giving him the same look. Let's swap it out. There it is. Oh my gosh. Like he's seriously biting it. I think it's a flounder. Okay, give him a different look again. I mean, we're gonna continue downsizing until the fella has no choice but to get the entire lure inside his mouth. hit twice by it already first time it went airborne like blowing up on my lure oh we got him oh he let go didn't he no he didn't okay Whew. downtown for that fella. My gosh, that was
was like several casts that he blew up on and then eventually decides to just take it. Oh yeah, that's another brute right there. Oh yes. Gorgeous redfish. Oh no, 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 don't do that. No, 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 no. Nope. Get over here. Come on. Oh, he's barely hooked. There we are. <laughs> this guy gave himself up. He was on a flat, several casts, and finally whacked him. There we go. Look at that. Right inside his mouth. About a 22 inch redfish. Here we are. Alright, buddy, I'm gonna make sure you're ready to go before I let you go. I thought, I honestly thought it was a flounder that was right out there. But just because of the way it hit. And then it went airborne, chasing after my lure. So, three different lures, and the flats bug is the one that finally decided to get it done. Oh man, look at his tail. That is beautiful. Admiring this beautiful redfish right there, y'all. See you later, buddy. Keep living that good life. I'm gonna keep casting in there just in, in case there's a school of them. And then we'll, we might get lucky. Oh, yes. I knew there was going to be another one out there. Oh my gosh, that is just so lucky. The bait have been getting skittish back that way. Yeah, it's another one. No, 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 buddy. Goodness, bro. Bro, leave the kayak alone, dude. Oh my gosh, get out from under there. I need you to get out, dude. There we go. Holy cow. Oh, oh my gosh, this guy trying to take me out. And that right there is a tough limit. Boy, did we have to grind. We made it happen, oh my gosh. Y'all don't know how happy I am to be able to catch three keeper reds on a very tough day of fishing. Oh my goodness, we made it happen. Battery is about to die. I think I got like 10% battery life left. Whoa, 
All right, let's get this guy taken off and back inside the water. Just an all around great day. Whenever you can put something together from nothing, like absolutely nothing, and we made it happen. That's gonna do it for today's episode of MDLR Fishing, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Before I end this one, I'm gonna pay, play a quick clip of my buddy Bethos kayak. So for those of you that are in the market for one, check this clip out. Yeah, we can, we can click that on right there. So you just put the motor in forward very slow. Just wanna show y'all that right there. This is the 1103 AC Torquedo and this thing is super fast it goes forward and reverse you got the battery right inside there the torpedo mount i hope y'all enjoyed the fishing portion of the video today y'all but right now we're at my buddy beto's house and he's got this awesome kayak for sale so the reason why is because that skiff back there basically does the job of this. And uh, this doesn't get used anymore. It's been garage kept and looks pretty good. Check it out. So let's start back here at the rear of the kayak. You got the Torquedo, very fast. Let's roll a clip really quick to show you just how fast that thing is. We appreciate the love and support that y'all show regardless if I catch fish or not. Lucky enough to get that speckled trout to keep the skunk at bay and uh, yeah so uh again yeah thank you so much for watching click that thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video and uh until next time there's the pressure drop that i was talking about hopefully it just stays like it doesn't really come in and mess us up got us. all right so you can see that this thing is super fast now We've got two power poles. That's gonna lock you in place so that there's no pivot point where, as one of the kayaks that I used to have, we only had one of these. And when you go down, if the wind's blowing and then you're gonna just like basically spin around. Well, that's taken care of just the way most skiffs have two power poles. Uh, this one will lock you in place. You got your little wristband controller and you can sync both of these power poles up together to go up and down at the same time. So it's gonna lock you in place with no pivot point. You also have two power pole lithium batteries. So there's no need for wiring to go down underneath the hull. And that makes things a lot easier to, um, when it comes time to charging and then just the portableness of the, uh, the power poles themselves. It's also gonna come with two of the power pole spikes and you got yourself a kayak net the boondocks landing gear and you've also got a paddle you have a wilderness systems like tackle pouch right here behind the seat you got your seat itself it's in great condition and then you got a tackle pouch right underneath the seat you got your pedal drive, so you don't necessarily have to use the Torquedo, but I don't know why you wouldn't want to, because if you have that right there, it's gonna get you to and from your fishing grounds super fast. But then once you get there, you can pull the Torquedo up and then commence to using the pedal drive. You got instant reverse. Look at that right there. So that's that. He also added these right here are extras that controls the torpedo moving left and right and uh, the lines are already ran for you to be able to do that you've got the rudder right here that's down below the kayak so if for any reason you wanted to pull that up or even remove it you still you're still fully functional with being able to operate it just as a regular titan 13.5 you got rod holders that are built in so um, you can probably look up some reviews about this kayak and see all the standard features but i'm telling y'all it is fully loaded we didn't even talk about the lawrence that's an elite 7 ti phenomenal unit that's what i used to use whenever i had my old school hobie so you got that here's your controller for the torpedo kill switch 
forward, reverse, and like I said, that thing was fast as y'all saw. I bet they'll just cruise by and pass me up. He's also got a Yak Gear stakeout pole. This one floats. And I want to say they come in like a six foot length, something like that. So that's going to come with it. I mean, there, there's all kinds of goodies locked up into this thing. So now here's the big, the big question. How much is it? Total package cost is going to be $6,000 for everything that we discussed, including the cart. I forgot that he had that. That's Malone and it's got some custom made bunks designed specifically for this Titan 13.5. Yeah, um, I'm going to list Beto's email in the video description down below. So serious offers only, y'all. And uh, keep the emails clean, please. We would appreciate that. Also, I'm going to itemize everything so that you can check it out um, by going on those links. It'll take you to the website. You can see how much the items truly cost and then what this kayak cost him at face value. He's not trying to get that. So in my opinion, it's a steal. So yeah i uh, definitely appreciate it if you know anybody that's in the market for a kayak because they can't get it from the dealer due to the supply chain issues and stuff like that then send them Bethel's way and uh, we would definitely appreciate it all right again thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to click the thumbs up button and until next time tight lines y'all